Today's repair is a big one and I'm going to show you how I repaired it. Hi, I'm Martin Sadler from Dent Remover and today's video is on a Ford C-Max front door. Now the damage is quite bad, it damaged both body lines and put a large crown at the top. There's also a little bit more damage a bit lower down. I'm going to show you the dent in a bit of detail, then show you how we estimate it, show you the tools that I use and obviously the repair. So let's go and take a look at the damage. So if we take a look at the front door we can clearly see this nasty looking dent. Our customer didn't know how this dent occurred but he did mention that he leaves it packed up on a road and this is the pavement side so unfortunately it does look like someone's come along and kicked the door. Some kind of vandalism also left some vertical scratches in the middle of the damage. Okay if we take a closer look with the inspection board and I'll start off by pointing out the obvious dent. This is a deep crease and it's the lowest part of the damage. And towards the bottom of this we can see there's two body lines and these have taken a lot of the impact. Moving to the top of the damage where it's highlighted, there's a steady horizontal crown measuring 15 to 20 centimeters. And at the center of this is where all the lock pressure is. So once we've pulled the majority of the damage out, we then need to tap this area down to release the pressure. These two areas have been damaged by an internal brace. Basically what's happened here, when the doors had the impact, the door skin has flexed and met up against the inner brace, creating these two outward creases. So now we've taken a good look at that dent and we know all the main points that need repairing, we'll now check the rest of the door with the inspection board and it's quite clear there's some more damage a bit lower down. This is the same kind of damage as the two outward creases up above, only this time the panel has pushed up against the inner crash brace, creating this outward crease. Another area of damage I'd like to point out and it's underneath the handle. This is actually a factory pressing, but because of the dent it's just made it look a little bit worse. Okay, so I've just been through all the damage in a lot of detail. But when our customer comes in for an estimate, we need to mark all the affected areas up. Also, when we're marking the damage up, we'll measure it like you can see here. We can then clearly show our customer the areas that need repairing. And then once we have all this information, we can put together a detailed estimate using a pricing matrix. So we've taken a really good look at that dent and we know all the different areas that need repairing. Also, I've shown you how we estimate the job so we can give you a price. But what tools do we need to repair this? Let's go and take a look. To see what I'm repairing, I've got my LED light board, my trusty blending hammer and a selection of knockdowns for the high areas and blending in the crowns my favourite door repair tools and a selection of tips. To protect the window while I'm using the door tools I've got my window guard and wedge. And for the glue pulling I've got my glue gun with Glexo glue, tab lifter and degreaser. The glue tabs I'm using are gangrene and black ice tabs. And the cold glue system I'm using today is from Sticky Beast PDR Cold Glue. Okay, starting off with a cold glue system, and even though it suggests it in the name that it's cold glue, we do need to warm it up a little bit. So I need to wake the glue by pulling it around like this for a couple of minutes until it's sticky. Then I need to attach the metal tab to the slide hammer. Finally, stick the glue to the tab and spread the cold glue evenly over the tab's surface. Also, it's worth mentioning but the panel needs to be thoroughly degreased before you use the cold glue, otherwise it won't stick. Okay, so the majority of the dent has been taken out with a cold glue system. I now need to tackle the crowned area. By tapping this down, I'm going to release a lot of the pressure, and then I can lift out more of the damage lower down. Moving along the top of the door where the crown is until I get to the edges where the sharp creases are. I need to change knockdowns from the blunt crow carb to the more accurate 
cherry tip and white tip knocked down. And the reason why I've moved to a sharper tip is because I only want to move a small area where the crease is and I don't want to tap down the surrounding areas. So I'm going to be using my favourite gangrene tabs with Glexo hot glue and I'm going to carefully place my glue tab in the corner just underneath the body line. So the reason why I'm using glue in this area is because I can lift the metal up with more control. And on some vehicles the inner door handle mechanism can get in the way. So it makes it difficult to get any door tools on there to do the repair. On a repair like this it's easily achievable to make a couple of thousand taps with a hammer and knockdown. And each one of these taps is made with precision, carefully manipulating the damage back to its former shape. Ok so far I've been repairing this damage from the painted side only, but now I need to use the door tools and repair the dent from the inside. But to do this I need the window down, then add the window protector, then chuck a gap open with the wedge. Ok I'm only using 3 door tools in total on this repair and this particular one is a shortened down version of a Mark Rennie door bar. And this modified tool gives me a lot more control when I'm repairing the tops of doors and body line areas. So this dent is shaping up nicely and it's coming out well but as I'm getting to the final stages of the repair I need a sharper more precise bar. So for this I'm using another one of my favourite bars and it's the one from PDR Finesse and it's a 226. It has a curved end and it has a sharp tip. So it's ideal for picking out all those small low areas. As I'm getting to the end of the repair on this main dent, every tap needs to be a lot more accurate. So I need to use one with the smallest of heads and this VIP tools knockdown is just right. This has a polished dome head and it's very precise, but you have to go really careful, one wrong move and you can easily damage the paintwork. Ok so I've changed the repair direction and I've also changed the bars. I'm now using the Ultra Dent Tools bar, but this time I've changed my tip and I'm using a super sharp tip and this is called a Gator V tip. This is great for picking out those small little low areas. That's the main dent finished, we're now going to look at the other dent which is a bit lower down which is the sharp crease. Now this area might not look too difficult to repair, but one stray tap with a knockdown is going to make the repair a lot harder to recover. And so for this reason I'm going to start with a white tip knockdown and then finish off with the sharpest of my plastic knockdowns, this black one. So once I've worked the crease from one direction, I need to change my working position so I'm facing the rear of the door and this will help me repair the crease evenly and I'm also cross checking the repair. Ok just before we have a look at the finished repair I'd like to say a big thank you for sticking with me so far and if you did enjoy the video it'd be great to get a thumbs up. Also you can leave a comment below and if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel it'd be great to get you on board because this really helps our channel grow. But for now take a look at the finished repair and I'll see you soon.